Welcome to the Bladed Tech Channel's 46th installment of our Milestones Anthology on the History of Technology and Space Exploration, and our fourth segment on the SpaceX Starship Interplanetary Spacecraft Program, and more specifically, the serial number 8 suborbital flight in the new spacecraft's full booster and main stage configuration. On December 9, 2020, the Starship serial number 8 spacecraft launched about 60,000 feet into the air, the highest any of the prototypes have flown. The craft is the first to sport flaps and a nose cone. Serial number 8 follows its predecessors, serial number 5 and serial number 6, which have successfully completed 500-foot hops, along with controlled landings. SpaceX had obtained a launch license from the Federal Aviation Administration in July 2020 to send Starship prototypes on a suborbital trajectory, meaning the experimental rocket ships could reach dozens of miles above Earth before returning and landing. Serial number 8 used three massive Raptor engines to launch the 260,000-pound rocket. SpaceX conducted a series of tests, including static fire, on the new engine before the launch. All three engines fired at liftoff, with each shutting down in succession to halt its ascent. The engines were then reignited during the descent for its landing. The Raptor engines are designed specifically for the Starship. Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets use the Merlin engine. The serial number 8 launch is the third performed by a Starship prototype, with several previous static prototypes exploding during ground tests and a learning process of trial and error. Let's watch the serial number 8 launch and landing in real time. 2 minus 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We have lift off. Triage alarms.
At six and a half minutes from launch, serial number eight reignited its engines in preparation for landing. Unfortunately, the braking effect appeared to be inadequate and the spacecraft impacted on the landing site, exploding. Nevertheless, SpaceX declared the flight a success, showing a graphic on its video that said, quote, awesome test, congrats Starship team. Musk followed up on this message by tweeting, quote, fuel header tank pressure was low during landing burn, causing touchdown velocity to be high, but we got all the data we needed. Mars, here we come. SpaceX is iterating towards a final version of Starship that will feature six Raptors, and Musk has said be capable of carrying up to 100 people to the moon, Mars, and other distant destinations. The 165-foot tall Starship will launch from Earth atop a first-stage booster known as Super Heavy, which will be powered by about 30 Raptors of its own. The Starship vehicle will be powerful enough to blast itself off the moon and Mars, whose gravitational pulls are much weaker than that of our planet, Musk has said. Both Starship and the forthcoming Super Heavy are designed to be fully and rapidly reusable, a technological breakthrough that SpaceX believes will make ambitious exploration feats, such as Mars colonization, economically feasible. Musk previously said the lifetime of each Starship will be around 20 to 30 years, like an aircraft. Around three Starship flights will launch from Earth per day, or around 1,000 flights a year, and each will have a capacity of more than 90,000 pounds, according to the billionaire. By continuously ferrying the people the 180 million miles to Mars, Musk is predicting 1,000 human inhabitants by 2030, and maybe around 1 million by 2050. SpaceX is currently pursuing a launch license for full-scale, orbital-class Starship Super Heavy vehicles. Musk hopes the spacecraft will be lifted to low Earth orbit by 2021, and have people inside of it by the end of 2022. This would hopefully be followed by a cargo mission to Mars in that same year, return NASA astronauts to the lunar surface in 2024, and even begin sending people to Mars the same year. SpaceX has already booked one Starship customer, Japanese billionaire Yusaku Mizawa, who will fly around the moon on the vehicle. The target launch date for that mission is 2023. Starship is also in the running to land NASA astronauts on the moon as part of the space agency's Artemis program. Artemis aims to put two astronauts down on the lunar south pole in 2024, and establish a sustainable human presence on and around the moon by the end of the decade. Starship will fly a wide variety of missions to many different destinations, if all goes according to plan. SpaceX plans to phase out all of its other spaceflight hardware over time, handing all duties over to Starship and its Super Heavy booster. What do you think about SpaceX's Starship Commercial Interplanetary Spacecraft Development Program? Do you think that SpaceX dedicating resources on making NASA's Artemis program would be better? Or is Elon Musk right to go alone here? Share with us by dropping a comment below. We hope you enjoyed this 46th installment of Belated Tech's Milestone series. If so, click that like button. If you are not a subscriber yet, please take a moment to click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. The first major YouTube milestone is at 10,000 subscribers, and we are doing everything we can to get to that mark. Help us out by becoming a subscriber and we'll be sure to continue delivering great content to you and clicking the bell notification icon. We'll make sure you're notified when new episodes are released. Links to some of our most recent episodes can be found in the description section below. You can peruse our entire 170 plus video library by looking at our playlists, which conveniently sort videos by subject. We announce all new videos on our Twitter account, as well as in the community feed for this channel. Want to know how to navigate our channel content? We refer to RetroTech and Innovation Documentary segments as episodes. Coverage of current events in space exploration, science, and technology are labeled as shorts. Space and tech history are documented in an anthology called Milestones. And gameplay recordings can be discovered on the Bladed Tech Gaming channel in videos called Walkthroughs and Side Missions. Stay connected by occasionally checking our Instagram feed, where we post content from our upcoming episodes and from episodes past that you may have missed. And finally, join us on our Facebook page, where we cover current news and events related to channel content. Thanks for watching.